one of the greatest catches of all time. Every screamer of a catch is followed by an instinctive response. Yes, the arm coming to the rescue to smooth in the landing, ready to take a closer look at this protective gesture that gets triggered without any thought. Every unbelievable diving catch is followed by the shielding from the non-catching arm right before hitting the ground. Very similar, any threat to our body initiates a reflex. And in a fielder, the diving triggers the receptor. In this case, the inner ear, interestingly responsible for body balance, detects the fall as a threat. But since it's a threat, as opposed to waiting for a response from the brain, the impulse from the sensory neuron is quickly diverted to the spinal cord and shared with the relay neuron. From here, the impulse is sent to the motor neurons, the neurons that control muscle motion, to take immediate action by activating the relevant muscles. This is a reflex action and the pathway is the reflex arc. Interestingly, over periods of practice and catching drills, our body gets familiar with the sequence of events. That is, the act of diving, taking a one-handed catch, gets associated with the inherent falling reflex. This is what we call a conditioned reflex.